Hi guys, my name is Ferdi and in this video series I will talk about all the elements of Ultimate Add-ons. What is Ultimate Add-ons? There is an amazing page builder called Elementor that contains a lot of free elements. With Ultimate Add-ons you can add even more elements to Elementor that are more advanced and will add more functionality and flexibility. So with Ultimate Add-ons you can take your website project to the next level. Here are some examples of Ultimate Add-ons elements. You can get the ultimate add-ons through 30corp.com forward slash UAE. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy the add-on through this link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. Then you can click on buy now, scroll down, and then you can choose a package. You can pay with credit card or with PayPal. Then you can download ultimate add-ons, upload it to your website, activate it, and then you can use it within Elementor. Do you like what you see so far? Please like this video and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Now let's get started. In this video we will take a look at the fancy header. I go to ultimate add-ons, I click on edit with Elementor, I close this and this one and this one and here you see at ultimate add-ons fancy heading. I drag it over here in the new area and you see an example immediately. So here we have the before text, I am a, and then here you have all the fancy text. So we can start with a word, I am a thankful, handsome, tired, proud, and then I can say father. You see I'm a thankful father, I'm a handsome father, I'm a tired father. So here you can change the text. So something else, we deliver websites, photos, babies, whatever. And then you can remove this and then it looks like that. So this is the text part, we can close this and then we go to the effect. Right now it is a typing effect, we can also make it a slide. And it looks like that. We can have a pause and hover, so if I hover over it, whatever which is typed wrong will stay there. And if I remove my mouse, it will continue. The animation speed, I can say make it 2000. So it goes really slow. And the pause time, I can say 100, which is really quick, 100 milliseconds. So it continues almost. If I have a word after it, you see it adjusts like that. I don't like this way of showing it, so I say 700 and a thousand, one second. We deliver babies, we deliver photos. Okay, that's too quick. 2000. like that. Then we can go to the style, make it H2, I bring it to the center and the layout can be in line, so they will have three rows like that. I like it this way and before the spacing you can have some extra space and after the spacing I don't need that. Then we go to the style, the heading text, which color should it be? I can change it to this one. Then I go to the fancy text and I want to change the color of the text to something orange or something like that. I can change the typography and I can click on advanced and do even more. So I can even have a background through the text. So if I click on classic image, I grab this image and I insert it. This is the background now. I make it cover and then I can change the text to white 
change the padding a bit, uncheck this, increase the right, left. So that's what you can do. Let me bring this back. So now it looks like that. And we can have a border radius if we want to. Or have a shadow. So that's what you can do. And what I like to do, I go to advanced, I go to the padding, and I say the top. And check this, should be 30, and the bottom should be 30, so I have a little bit of space around it. So that's what you can do with a fancy heading. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Have a great day, feel free to like this video, to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.